Praise the Lord and good evening, New Harvest Temple. Good evening, everyone that has joined us this evening. Uh, we praise God for all of you, and we're thankful that you have come in. You've set aside the time uh, to be a part of us in this fellowship, in this Bible study. We're grateful for you, and um, we are thanking God that he has kept you, kept us, and is continuing to keep us. There are great things among us, the three great things upon us. And we are excited. We're excited about what the Lord is doing. We're excited about what the Lord is doing and we're glad. This is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice in it and be glad. We bring you greetings from New Harvest Temple via virtually, <laughs> amen, virtually uh, from New Harvest Temple, not from the physical location, but we are New Harvest Temple. We represent New Harvest Temple and we're grateful for all of you. Thank you so much for joining us uh, this evening. Uh, we are just going to ask you to uh, take a moment and uh, take a moment and uh, share this, like this post, like this live. If you're watching through Facebook, um, watch, uh, click on the live and, 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 and um, you're clicked on the live. Let me correct that. <laughs> click on the like button on this live and uh, also share it. Share it to your page, start launch parties, um, or should I say launch your uh, watch parties. And so we're grateful tonight to be able to come together virtually, um, to be able to lift up the name of Jesus, to be able to share the word, to share our heart and our concerns um, as we progress through this time of pandemic. This pandemic um, has presented us, and um, we have often said it is unprecedented, it is unconventional, it is a whole lot of things wrapped up in one. And certainly this is our time um, for the church um, to uh, be at its best, be at its best. And one way to be that is to be scripturally sound, to be scripturally sound. Uh, we're not coming with any new doctrine. We're not coming with anything but Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the answer for the world today because there is no other. Jesus is the way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes into the Father except they come through Jesus. So we're here to offer Jesus to everyone to exhibit that, to live it, and not just preach it or teach it, but we're here to live out um, Jesus, or uh, um, the life of Jesus, or our holy lifestyle, a righteous lifestyle. Not that we are perfect, um, and I say that because oftentimes when you talk to someone and say, you know, I'm not perfect. Uh, well, if you understand uh, where we are in society, and what's taking place, you know, and if you really look around real good, you'll recognize none of us are perfect. None of us are perfect. None of us are perfect. There is not no perfect person. There is not a perfect person. The only perfect person came and, and took on the imperfections of this world through um, taking the burden of a sin um, to the cross. And that, that, that person's name was Jesus. That person's name was Jesus. That person's name is Jesus. That person's name will always be Jesus. Yeah. So we're grateful tonight. Um, again, please like, please share, uh, please launch your watch parties. Let's stay engaged. We want people to know uh, we're preaching the truth. We're preaching Jesus Christ because he is the truth. And so um, we're grateful. We have some exciting things coming up. And um, I, I might... <laughs> might lead on to some of those things. Um, we're, we're grateful because during this pandemic, uh, while things are chaotic in, in certain ways and forms, one exciting thing we can, uh, we're excited about is just some updates that's coming to our church or is in the process even now to our sanctuary. And we're, we're excited about that. Um, we're excited to be doing this and you know, God is just providing. He's Awesome. I'm so glad to see what God is doing. Um, and, and, and you, you, you know, we'll be able to reveal and show and see and all of this stuff shortly, but I just want to commend our church members, New Harvest Temple, um, our supporters, um, 
Some we know by name, some we don't. You know, just thank God for those that have partnered with us to fulfill the commission of God, to fulfill the great commission, which we believe is going back um, the, to the original commission, which is the kingdom, uh, first kingdom principle that God ever gave us, and that's to be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, subdue it, and have dominion. We thank God for the kingdom of God, the gospel of the kingdom of God. And as we continue to not just preach and teach um, and learn of the kingdom, of the kingdom of God, we want to uh, uh, exhibit the kingdom of God. We want to manifest the kingdom of God. You, you, we that are believers, we are the kingdom of God. Those that are unbelievers, that's turning their hearts towards God, towards Jesus Christ. We, you can be the kingdom of God. Unless you be born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. And so you have to be born again to understand all the things about the kingdom. And certainly we believe that because that is scripture. Uh, that's what uh, Jesus told Nicodemus. Um, you know, you must be born again. And, you know, and, and Jesus told him, he was like, you know, what could I do? You know, you being the master that you are, being the teacher that you are, only one that God is with them um, could be uh, doing these things. And we know God is with you. And certainly he told him, he said, you must be born again. Um, you must be born again. But before he talks about being born of the water and the spirit, he talks about seeing the kingdom of God, seeing the kingdom of God. And certainly we uh, appreciate all that the Lord does. And we're thankful. We're thankful for what the Lord is doing, what he's done. And um, we're going to uh, acknowledge the Lord in through prayer um, while we're praying. Again, we want you to share this. We want you to start your, uh, start or launch your uh, uh, watch parties. We want you to share this live. We want you to tag people in the post. Tag people in this post. Tag people in this live. Even if you're watching um, maybe from YouTube and we want you on YouTube to, you know, send people the link and, and so on. Um, there will be those that will watch. Um, uh, afterwards, we're going to uh, get ready to be able to simulcast. So we just ask you to, um, we're getting ready, not we're about to get ready. We're getting ready to simulcast. That way, you know, those that have YouTube and have access will be able to watch it from there and be able to comment there as well. So um, we're going to pray. We're going to pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we bring, thank you. We praise you. We bring our praise to you. We bring our worship to you. Hallelujah, Jesus. We honor you, God, because you, you are the author. You are the finisher of our faith. And God, we thank you because you already know what's before us. You know what's in us. You know what is already taking place. But God, we need your strength. We need your direction. And we need God, your, 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 your presence. God, we just don't want to talk about your presence. Well, we want your manifested presence. We want your glory. God, we thank you for what we have already experienced, the glory that we have experienced in our daily walk with you. God, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you that you're not absent with us. God, you're not absent from us. You're not absent. Oh, God, you're present with us. And God, we pray to you, God, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, not to inform you, but God, to invite you in. Oh, God, to give you a way back into the dominion you gave to us. God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your strength. We thank you for your direction. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for wisdom. Lord, we need wisdom today. We need your wisdom like never before. God, as we proceed, uh, God, in the name of Jesus, while those leaders all across the world are trying to figure out what to do next and what next move to make, God, within the ministry as well as the ministry as a whole. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to pour out your wisdom and your grace and your compassion upon us. Oh, God, that we will exhibit it, that we will be compassionate, that we will be wise, oh, God, in our doings, in our thoughts, in God, our actions. God, that our thoughts and our actions will be pleasing to you. God, we ask you, Lord, to forgive us 
of anything that we've done that has not been pleasing to you, that has been against your word, that has, Lord, that has been isolated. Lord, somehow we've compartmentalized, oh God, those things that we deem and, and, and believe that, oh God, we're all right with you. But Lord, there are some areas that we know you're not pleased with. And so, Lord, those areas that we know you're not pleased with, Lord, let us be that use that same knowingly, oh God, that same mindset, oh God, to proceed in correction, to proceed in correcting our thoughts and perspective, oh God, and that we'll press into your glory, God, that it would just won't be comfortable, oh God, to what we used to hearing. But God, even to those things that we're not used to hearing, God, when, when, I, when the Holy Ghost, the spirit that you've given us, God, we, we, we want that Holy Ghost, oh God, to bring confirmation, even when it doesn't feel good. Oh God, when we feel conviction, oh God, we thank you for conviction, Lord Jesus. We thank you for conviction. We thank you for conviction. We thank you for conviction, Lord God. We thank you for direction. We thank you for your healing power. Yes. We thank you for healing. You've healed before and you're healing again. And God, you have never stopped healing. God, we thank you for your healing power. We thank you for your presence. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we invite you in. Lord, we extol thee. We worship you. Oh God, in this place. God, in this old forum, oh God, whether it be virtually, whether it be physically, God, Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. God, you said in your word, if there are two or three, oh God, touchy or agree as touchy, oh God, you will, we, we can ask what we will and you will perform it. You will do it for us. Yes. Oh God, we thank you. Lord, we may be in different places, but we're not in different spirits. Oh God, Lord, we thank you for being in different places, but not different spirits. God, we thank you for being in a unifying spirit. We thank you for being in a unifying mindset. We thank you for being in a unifying spirit, God. We thank you, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to uncover and reveal and cause us to be able to respond in a godly, godly manner. Oh God, when those things that are not lining up with you, oh God, that's not lining up with your word, oh God, that we will present you, God, a church, oh God, without spot or wrinkle, that we'll be righteous in our response, that we'll be righteous in our behavior, that we'll be righteous, oh God, in our actions, oh God, oh God, help us not to react, but to respond. Oh, God, help us not to react, but respond. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, help us, oh, God. Lord, we need your help today. And America needs your help today. Oh, the Christian believer needs your, oh, God, help today. Hallelujah. Every single being needs your help today. Oh, God, there's nothing that we do. We can do it without you. Huh? Everything that we see, your word has made. Huh? And you are the word. Jesus, you are the word. Huh? In the beginning you were in the word in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and the word oh God all oh, the things we see and even don't see the word created it and the word became flesh and we know the word by your name in the name of Jesus God we declare right now God that oh we honor you for your creation we honor for your creatures we honor you oh God for all of your creation everything you put Put your hands to do what's well. And we thank you, Lord Jesus. And, oh, God, help us not to lean to, unto our own understanding. Oh, help us not to lean to our own understanding, but in every way, God. Oh, God, help us to acknowledge you in every way, God. That we acknowledge you in every way, oh, God. Every way and every day. Every way and every day. Every way and every day. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, we declare your blessings, God. We declare your blessings upon the people. We declare your blessings upon the people. We declare, oh, God, there will be a reasoning and a, oh, God, healthy response, a healthy reaction, a healthy response. Oh, God, a godly response. Oh, my no ho shi ta la la ba si ta la la ba ye to kola da da no ho si ta la la ba shi ha u li da 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 na ma ho se te he shi ha u la da 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 na ma si ta la la 
Rabahose, Yeko Shita la 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 you're filling them with grace. Huh? Oh God, you're doing it right now in the name of Jesus. Oh my la la ma shita la la ba so ko hoshi ha. Ye la 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 ba se te be no 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 salia. Ye la 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 ma shita la 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 ba hoshi ha. Ye ka la 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 ba si to ba hoshi ha ya. Jesus, Jesus. Ye lo 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 si ka la la man sa ya. Oh ba 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 shata la la ba si ha. Oh la 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 ma si ta ba ha ya. Oh ko la 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 ma sha ya. Jesus. Jesus, Lord, fill God with your spirit, oh God. Let them feel after you. Lord, let them F E E L after you. Let them feel after you. But as they're feeling after you, oh God, fill them F I L L, God. Feel them as they're feeling for you, as they're reaching for you. Oh God, your word said we draw out of you. God, you'll draw out of us, God. God, we thank you for meeting us in the midst. God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. The hearts are heavy tonight, God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we feel a burden tonight, God. Lord, we feel the heaviness tonight. Night, uh, oh God, in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, the injustices of the world, uh, Lord, we need your power, uh, Lord, we need your wisdom, uh, oh God, to combat this injustice uh, that's going on in the land, uh, oh God, in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, we need your spirit. Lord, that same glory that we shout by, that same glory that we lift our hands by, that same glory, God, we need to fight against injustice. We need to fight against racism. We need to fight against the, oh, God, the things that are ungodly. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, help us. Lord, help this nation. Lord, help us. Lord, give us wisdom. Lord, look on that man a woman. Huh? Look on that boy or girl huh? that is facing opposition. Huh? In the name of Jesus, huh? Lord God, huh? give us the tools. Huh? We need your word. Huh? We need your word. Huh? Oh, Jesus. Huh? We need a word from you. Huh? We need a word from you. Huh? We need a word from you. Huh? Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Huh? Lord, we need a word from you. Huh? That will call the unrighteous to be righteous. Huh? We need a word from you. Huh? Not just to sing and dance. Huh? Oh God, not just to speak in tongues. Huh? Lord, we need you, God. Huh? Oh God, we need your glory. We need your glory to call somebody to stand up. Oh God, against ungodly, ungodliness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We declare right now, God. We declare right now, God. We declare right now, God. Oh God, we need you, Jesus. Oh God. Lord Jesus Lord help us not to remain the same Lord help us not to come out of this pandemic the same Oh God Help us oh God As we came in empty Lord that we leave filled In the name of Jesus Oh God Lord thank you Jesus Oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, your God, Lord, this is in your hands, it 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 is in your hands, oh God, oh God, we're waiting eagerly, we're waiting eagerly for your wisdom, oh God, we're waiting eagerly for your understanding, oh God, we're waiting eagerly huh, for the next move. Huh. Oh, God, we want to be pleasing to you. Huh. Oh, 
oh God, in the name of Jesus, do Lord, do Lord, Lord, remember me, do Lord, do Lord, Lord, remember us, Lord, remember us, Lord, remember the nation, Lord, remember the other nations, in the name of Jesus, Lord, Jesus, 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 oh la 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 mansia, oh ko la 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 mansia, oh la 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 mansia, oh ko ba 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 shaya, Jesus, you are wonder, Jesus, you are counselor, Lord God, counsel somebody, we need counseling, we need speaking to, Lord, Lord, we thank you for being a listener, Lord, you're the greatest listener, God, you're the greatest listener, Lord, let's reciprocate it to you, oh God, that we'll listen to you, oh God, you listen to all our complaints, you listen to all our petitions, but God, we want you, oh God, give us strength, oh God, and a discipline to listen to your word, God, in the name of Jesus, we don't want your crumbs only, but God, we want your whole loaf. Lord, we are desperate for crumbs, but sooner or later, we need discipline for your whole loaf, oh God. Lord, help us. Lord, do Jesus. 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 Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, 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 Saints of God. Uh, saints of God, uh, prayers taken over. Oh, glory to your name, Jesus. Uh, oh, glory to your name, Jesus. Uh, oh, glory to your name, Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Uh, oh, God. Uh, Somebody needed this, Lord. Huh? Somebody needed this, Lord. Huh? Oh, God. Huh? This is, oh, God. Huh? Uh, oh, God. Huh? Oh, God. Huh? This is our booster shot. Huh? Oh, God, we thank you. Huh? Oh, God, in the faith, huh? we thank you for the booster shot. Huh? We needed this, oh, God, huh? to build up huh? our defense, huh? to build up huh? our immune system. Huh? Lord, somebody, God, huh? is waiting on you, oh, God, huh? to boost their immune system. Huh? I come against sickness huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? I come against sickness. Sickness. I come against injuries. I come against inflammation. I come against infection. By the name of Jesus, by your strength, God, we are healed. We are healed. We pray healing. We pray healing. Healing in the land. Healing in the land. Healing in the land. Healing in the land. Oh ba 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 shaya ha oh na 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 ma si ka ba ha ya ha healing in the land 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 oh ba 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 shaya oh na 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 ma shaya ha oh na 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 ba si ka na na ma si ya oh God. Jesus, Jesus, oh yes, Lord, oh yes, Lord, Jesus. 
Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man, I'm not my seat. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you. God, we praise you. God, we lift you up, oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh God, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, God, we thank you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jesus. Jesus, 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 oh God, oh God, hallelujah to your name, hallelujah to your name, oh hallelujah to your name, Jesus, hallelujah, glory, 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 hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, Thank you, Jesus. God, we praise you. God, we thank you. Oh, God, we glorify you. We love you tonight, Jesus. We love you tonight, Jesus. Oh, God, we love you every night. But, God, we declare it even now. We love you tonight, Jesus. We love you tonight, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God. Lord, we come against the injustice. I call it out by name. The racism. The racism. We come against racism. We come against racism. Against the African. We come against racism. Oh, God, they might be an American, but they're African descent. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we come against racism. Against the African. We come against the Oh, God. We come against racism. Against the African American. In the name of Jesus, oh God, in the name of Jesus, we call it out by name, we denounce it by name, we denounce it, oh God, oh God, Lord Jesus, we come against the spirit of in, of superiority in any of us, oh God, but Lord, we're directing it to the superior racism, oh God, superior races. There is no superior race. Oh, God. If we understand what racism is, God, we understand you only created one race, and that's the human race. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God, you're changing. You're changing the demographics. You're changing. Oh, God. You're giving us wisdom. You're giving us understanding. You're giving us us word. You're giving us Bible scripture. You're giving us direction. And we glorify you. Oh God. We come against it right now. Oh God. Hallelujah. Lord let our, our European brothers and sisters rise up and denounce it as well. Lord there are more in the name 
of Jesus, we declare, oh God, there shall be a voice that shall stand up, not just among us, but among them. Oh God, we're all one race, but Lord, let them rise up and stand up and talk. Rise up and stand up and fight. Rise up and stand up and protest and speak against, oh God, the injustice. Oh God, whatever system in the criminal system, in the financial systems, in the socioeconomic systems, oh God, in the educational system, oh God, in the name of Jesus, we declare right now, in the name of Jesus, we all come from Adam. Ah, y'all know who Shia. He ba 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 Shia. Oh Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. God help us to be lovers of all people, lovers of all races. No hatred, no hatred. God, we can't, oh God, denounce hatred. Uh, oh God, uh, against the African American uh, and also, uh, and not do it, uh, the hatred we might have uh, as African American descent, uh, African descent, uh, against those that don't look like us, talk like us. Uh, Lord, we ask you uh, to help us with that as well. Uh, oh God, uh, the hatred among our own. Uh, oh God, we denounce hatred. We denounce hatred. Hatred against human beings for their color of the skin. We come against it in the name of Jesus. Oh God, let the prominent voices rise. Oh God, let the no names rise and the prominent names don't even say anything and stand up, oh God. We declare it right now in the name of Jesus. Oh Jesus, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, Jesus, 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 oh Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Mm, Jesus. Jesus. We, Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we praise you. Jesus, we honor you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. O kala la na na man shi kala na man siya. O da ta ta na 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 man shiya. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I kala la na no ho shi kala la ba si. Ye to ho na 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 man shiya. O ko ba 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 shiya. Jesus, 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 Jesus. God, we love you. God, we praise you. God, we love you, Jesus. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your care. We thank you for lifting. We thank you for instructing. We thank you for gracing us. Thank you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, oh God, Jesus, Jesus, oh God, oh God, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, thank you Lord, thank you Lord, thank you, thank you Jesus, thank you Lord, God we thank you, we thank you for meeting us in this prayer, we thank you for meeting us in this time, God you knew what was to be. You knew what was to come. Oh, God, you ordained this time to be. God, we thank you and we praise you. God, we honor you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, we glorify you. We praise you. We honor you, oh, Lord. Oh, God, Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, sir. Glory to your name, Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God, Lord. Lord, we're we just going to pause and recess. Oh, God, from speaking to you. God, so we continue to go through this live, God, to speak to the people. God, Lord, be with us as we speak, Lord. Lord, let the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, you are my strength and my redeemer. God, this door of utterance that we're walking through, this door, God, that we're walking through, we start standing ready to walk through. God, we're opening the door that you have opened. We're walking through, oh God. Oh God, we thank you for the doors uh, that you're opening. We thank you for the opportunities that are coming to the people, even during a pandemic. Oh God, oh God, unusual opportunities. But God is going to be sanctioned by you. God, we thank you. Oh God, and we're going to see your stamp of approval. We're going to pray over these opportunities, God, as they come. But Lord, we're not going to count it, not you, just because it looks strange, look different than what we normally, even some, hallelujah, may not even fill out the application, but somehow get calls. Hallelujah, not even ask for a position, but somehow get a call. God, we pray that, oh God, in this season, in this time, God, you defy the odds. Oh, God, these are miracles in the making. God, we thank you for the miracles in the making. We thank you for the miracles in the making. Oh, hallelujah. I'm going to speak to you right now, people of God. Hallelujah. Miracles in the making. What I'm seeing, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, are miracles in the making. They are miracles that haven't quite manifested yet, but God is already working behind the scenes. He's already working under underneath. You can't see it. You can't, you haven't experienced it yet. Hallelujah. But they're in the making. Get ready to experience miracles in the making because all along God had you on his mind. All along God been thinking of you. All along God been, uh, uh, had you on his mind, had you in his thoughts, had you in his plans, had you ready. Hallelujah. Unusual opportunities. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I encourage you to seek God when these opportunities come. Seek God. Seek his face. Seek his face. Oh, God, and he will begin to show you. He will begin to show you that his hand is in it. His hand is on it. Thank you, Jesus. Miracles in the making. Miracles in the making. Miracles in the making. Hallelujah. Miracles in the making. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We shared some time ago out there are miracles in the desert. And, and, and as my mind and as my spirit is, a, uh, is reminded of the miracles in the desert, it was un inopportune times and inopportune circumstances. You know, when God, when Jesus, uh, God in the flesh, Jesus went and fed the 5,000, you know, the disciples were wondering how we're going to feed all these people. Let's send them away. They are hungry. And Jesus said, sit them down on green grass. How often do you see green grass? You may see brown grass, but how often do you see green grass in the desert? First miracle. Second miracle is the obvious. He fed the 5,000. They took up they took this little boy's uh, lunch and took this lunch, divided, everybody ate and were filled. And here's the third miracle. There were fragments left over. There were fragments, 12 baskets full of fragments. I'm here to let you know, God, give us the fragments until we can get to back to a place to experience the whole loaf. I'm here to, con con oh God, oh God, I'm here to, to, to encourage you to press in and let you know miracles are in the making. Miracles are in the making. It doesn't make quite much sense, but hallelujah, God is doing it. God is doing it. Miracles in the middle, middle of the desert. Miracles in the middle of a pandemic. God is working and God is moving on our behalf. He's healing some. He's delivering others. He's performing miracles for others. God is doing it in the midst. I'm here to let you know miracles are in the making. Miracles in the making. Miracles in the making. Even in this injustice, even in this race, recent uh, injustice uh, uh, and a sign of racism, a definite sign of racism, a definite 
uh, show of injustice in the land. I believe miracles are going to happen in the midst of that, in the midst of that, in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of this injustices, these injustices that we've seen. I believe miracles in the making. I'm praying for miracles in the making. We're speaking miracles in the making. Uh, I don't speak miracles often. Uh, me praying them, pray for them. Hallelujah. But I don't speak them often. But when he does, I, I say what he say. And so I'm not here to prove to anybody who I am, what I am. I'm here to say what he say. And that's it. Because there's proof, there's reputation behind what the Lord has given us. And I believe in this right here, that God has miracles in the making. We don't quite understand it. Hallelujah. But it's happening. We don't quite understand it, but it's happening. May don't, you may not even say, what in the world is this preacher talking about in the middle of a pandemic, in the mi middle of a, 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 a uprising uh, with the injustice in Minneapolis and, and the injustice in Georgia? Uh, you, you're looking at all that and saying, there could not be a miracle. I'm here to let you know God will perform miracle. Uh, and, and, and right in the midst of what's going on. I'm here to tell you, God will do it. God has done it before. He'll do it again. Yeah. Hallelujah. He brought the children of Israel out of Egypt. Hallelujah. They went in empty. They came out full. But can I also tell you this? While they were in their ways, while God was working out the Egypt in them, uh, while they were in the wilderness 40 years, uh, God was uh, performing miracles. He gave them manna that they could eat. They didn't even know what to call it, which is what man means. What is this? What is it? Uh, so therefore, hallelujah, God will give you manna. God will give you manna. And then he will bring you from manna to manifestation. He will take you from manna to manifestation. He will take you from crumbs to a whole roll, to a whole loaf. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, as I prepared and as I was preparing and been very prayerful um, of what to share tonight because we've been sharing about the glory. I believe there's another side of glory that we have not yet experienced and uh, kind of alluded to that in just the proclamation just a moment ago. And that is uh, the glory or the response as it comes to, a, 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 in, 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 as it pertains to uh, yeah, yeah. It, 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 I see someone said just a moment ago, uh, aspiring minister, uh, Nancy said, it doesn't feel good, but it's working for our good. Yes, then it's right. It don't feel good. It don't feel good. It don't feel good. It don't seem good. It sometimes don't taste good. Uh, it don't sound good. It don't look good. Uh, you know, it, it, it don't smell good, but God is doing it. God is doing it in the midst, in the midst. He's doing it. Uh, but as I was preparing for tonight, and as I just said, I was alluding to uh, but best, uh, just praying, praying uh, to see what the Lord, um, you know, we already have uh, something set in place to talk about the glory of God. And we've been call, talking out of book, teaching out of the book um, called the God Chasers when it comes to the glory of God. And we've continued that teaching since we've been in this pandemic. Um, we've been taking advantage of this time and we've been uh, going forth in that. Um, but there's something in the second chapter that I've kind of glossed over and it really kind of brings brings us to where we need to be tonight. So if I kind of use the book to step into another lane to come and come back, um, we'll be back perhaps maybe by the end of this lesson, um, if not next week. Um, but uh, in chapter two. Uh, we've been talking about the glory and how the lack of bread uh, was in Bethlehem and Bethlehem meaning the house of bread and that being the house of bread uh, going through famine. Now the people are leaving. Uh, we see that uh, Naomi's husband and her two sons and they leave Bethlehem, uh, Judah, uh, to go to another land, Moab. And they go into this country, go into this land of Moab. And after the husband, her husband died, and after her uh, uh, husband died and her two sons, then she goes and tells her daughter-in-laws, y'all go back home. Go back to your, your, your homeland. And as she does that, Orpah goes back to her people. But as we know, the story, uh, uh, David's 
grandmother, uh, David's grandmother, great grandmother is Ruth. And so therefore Ruth um, goes with uh, Naomi and then that's when she meets um, uh, Lord, his name, uh, <laughs> Boaz, thank you, uh, meets Boaz. And Ruth meets Boaz, and Boaz has Obed, and Obed has Jesse, and Jesse has David. So that's how we get to that. Um, but as we're, we're looking at this, we know that they're running back to, um, uh, Naomi and Ruth will go back to Bethlehem because Bethlehem is where the food is now. They heard bread was in the house of bread. They heard bread was there. And so we've been talking about their glory and how, you know, being hungry and how we've been talking about um, being hungry and being filled and um, having a hunger after God and hungry people act different and they come from everywhere when they really hungry they respond differently um, to different things and um, and so on and talk about revival and how revival, you know, we've been saying revival isn't necessarily a four night service, seven week service every night. Uh, we need revival with it. And, uh, one reference I'm going to make, um, to, uh, to the God chasers at this moment is, um, I believe I believe it's on page 29. Um, and, and, and that is one of the first steps to real revival is to recognize that you're in a state of decline is, is to recognize you're in a state of decline until we see that real revival. We're talking about real revival. We're not talking about again, a, a long service, a, a, a lengthy service and all of that. We're talking about within, within, uh, within not just us, but within systems within the systems of this world. Um, when we're talking about revival, we're talking about recognizing a state of decline. A real revival, one of the first steps to uh, real revival is to recognize that you're in a state of decline. Um, and this isn't, uh, as the writer says, Pastor Tommy Tenney said, it isn't an easy task. Um, you know, why? Because we have gotten so much into prosperity. We gave the illustration last week that when we talk about prosperity, we've been talking about the story with the uh, Ethiopian pastor and, you know, you know, the communists coming in to tell them to stop having service. And, you know, the daughter, uh, somehow the daughter died and the daughter fell dead and the mother went and got the daughter and brought her into the service. And people would have thought they would have ended there and went their separate ways, but they wound up having service and, and later on, 300,000 people would attend conferences that the same pastor who would not give in to the communists and say, we're going to still, um, we still going to have service. We still going to preach Jesus. We still going to talk about this. And so that same pastor later on, Pastor Tommy Tenney's father was in a, a preacher and well-known in a uh, Pentecostal uh, organization uh, uh, and fellowship. So he ran into this pastor and said, you know, we are praying. He saw their poverty and he said, we're praying for your poverty. And, and the pastor responded and said, don't, don't, no, 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 you got it all wrong. Don't pray for our prosperity. We're praying for you. No, don't pray for our poverty or against our poverty. We're praying against your prosperity. In other words, the American prosperity has brought us to a place to, to, to be comfortable uh, comfortable. We don't have a hunger. We don't have a drive. Um, and so, uh, Tommy Tenney says here, we're in a decline. We're in decline and we're in the best of times. And this phrase is taken from a tale of two cities by Charles Dickens. It was the best of times and it, it was the worst of times. And so that's kind of where we are. That's kind of where we are. And that's the conversation we're going to have tonight, just for uh, a few moments. Um, don't plan on being lengthy with this. The Lord took us into prayer, um, and I believe the word, uh, what God has done through prayer, um, is, going to, is going to speak to us as well as the word. Um, and here it is. This is, it, it, uh, uh, first, let's deal with the worst of times. This is the worst of times uh, 
let me flop that. It is the best of times. The best of times, the reason it's the best of times is because this is the time during a pandemic, during when all these things are taking place, the church can rise to its greatest hour. So it was the best of times, but also the worst of times. And I have not read, and I do plan on reading A Tale of the Two Cities, um, because it's come across my ears more than once from different writers. Um, but it is the best of times, and it's the worst of times. You can see that. You can see that. Um, this is one of the best times for us to really experience um, equality and humanity, equality in humanity. Um, this is the, one of the best times, but it's also the worst times because we're still seeing injustices in this world. Um, we're still seeing injustice not only in this world, but in this country. This country um, has a history, and we've seen it, um, where we have um, uh, black men taken down, taken down. Um, you know, I'm not here tonight. You know, there is black on black crime. Uh, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm not here to talk about white on white crime. I'm not here to talk about this and that. I'm here to specifically talk about um, um, how the system has been set up where, um, and, and we have officers. I'm, I'm saying that as a disclosure because somebody would say, oh, well, you, I don't want you misconstrue because we honor, in fact, we, we have a police officer that's a part of our church and I serve as much as I can on the Philadelphia uh, uh, Police Department for as a chaplain, still working on um, doing that fully. Um, so when we when we talk about that, I, I'm one, I support our Philadelphia cops and all cops everywhere. I respect them and honor them as such. Um, but, a, a, and, and, and so I, I wanna preface this by saying all cops are not bad. All cops are not bad. Matter of fact, most cops are good. We just have a few. Um, we have more than a few, uh, but we had quite a number that, 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 that believe in this whatever. Uh, uh, and we see it in the death of um, different ones. And so I, don't, I can't specifically talk about this situation um, because I don't know the details. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a, uh, an officer. I'm not a, an attorney, um, so, you know, I can't speak on everything. But what I, can I, what I can say is this. When we go back into the Word of God, the Word of God clearly tells us that there is only one human race. One human race. One. And when we see one human race, we'll begin to treat each other differently. We'll begin to treat everybody with respect regardless of differences, regardless of difference of color, because God has only created one race. But when one group will overstep the bounds and start saying they are superior to another group, then we have a problem. We have a problem. And so I'm, I'm stepping out here on a limb tonight, um, stepping off in faith. I don't often uh, talk about racism, um, because I know how emotional different ones can get. But I want to come from a biblical standpoint um, because the, I believe in the scripture. I stand on the scripture. I'm not going to deviate now because we're talking about this. No, we're going to the scripture and we're going to be scripturally founded, scripturally based. Um, and so uh, uh, I say that to say um, even, and, and this is the second point I'm going to bring from the book, is that when we talk about um, when we talk about uh, revival, we must recognize the decline. We must acknowledge the decline. And again, the, this whole idea of chasing after God is in pursuit of Him. Now, if you're going to be in pursuit of Him, you have to love what He loves, and He loves all mankind. All souls belong to Him. Ah, but the soul that said it shall die. So therefore. Let's go back. If God loves everybody, central, most people know that. Uh, most people understand it. God loves everybody. 
Um, some people try to misconstrue that God hates people and so, all that stuff. God loves all souls. Let's clear that up. He loves all souls. He loves all souls. And when it comes to the human race, there's only one. I, I wish, I really wish we could really understand it and really take that in. Because the human race is only one race. One. One. Not, not whites, not blacks, not Chinese, not uh, Japanese, not Indian, not Russian, not Brazilian, not Mexican, not Spanish, not French, and so on. Going not none of that. That's our where we come from. That's where we have been. Uh, that's where our ancestors come from. That's our line. And some of us are, are of a lighter hue than, than others. And that's simply because we have mixed, mixed nationalities. Nationalities doesn't determine race. So uh, 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 where you come from, your nationality or, uh, 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 or, or you get what I pray y'all get what I'm saying. If you can get what I'm saying, please put some thumbs up and hearts because y'all, I don't want y'all to be too dry. Yes, I need some amens or something. Um, you know, I want to make sure y'all getting this because this is very important to me. It should be important to you uh, because we can't, as a church, be so church and shouting and dancing, speaking in tongue. But we haven't addressed the inequalities and haven't just uh, addressed the hatred that's going on by supposedly Christians, European Christians. Well, you, we we got to do better than this. If we as people of God are going to be uh, what God wants us to be. We got to talk about these injustices and we got to talk about this racial profiling and such. We have to address it from a scriptural background and be sound and not be wavering. God is, wants to raise up more people that will be scripturally sound. God isn't just a Bible to talk about uh, uh, the sin of uh, homosexuality and sin of lying and sin of cheating, sin of adultery, sinning of uh, so many sins, <laughs> you know, so many cheating, you know, you, we say cheating, uh, uh, stealing, robbing, all these, fornicating, come on, you know, all this, all this is in the Bible. So is uh, uh, hatred. Hatred is in the Bible. How can you be of God and have hatred? And this is what has kept uh, many people in a prison, in a prison system, because we don't think of the word being, being, that, being the answer to racism, to fight racism. We don't think the word, no, 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 no. The word is to fight uh, racism. The, the word hasn't come to, to, uh, 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 to, 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 to just talk about the glory has come and we lift our hands and we speak in tongue and we have an exciting moment for hours and then we come out the same. We're not talking about that type of glory anyway, but if that's the glory you experienced, you, you, you missed it. But the glory we're talking about will not only make you praise God, worship him, feel his presence, his manifested presence, but his glory ought to cause you to say, uh-uh, that ain't right. Uh-uh. Let me fight against that injustice, that racism that is in this place, that is in this country. We need preachers. We need pastors. We need prominent voices that have platforms to stand up and talk and preach against it and see that racism, uh, uh, racism and the prejudices that come with the racism is sin. It's sin. You want to hoop on uh, uh, homosexuality, but you can't hoop on racism. There's something wrong with your gospel. There's something wrong with your gospel. There's something wrong with the Bible. If it can handle a woman that has uh, five husbands and he, he meets her at the well and tell her about her five husbands. And, and by the way, didn't say how they died and why she went on to the next one. But we've drawn our own conclusions with that. But. When we talk about that, we can, we can identify and we, we can sound off on that. And we can sound off anybody that lies, anybody that cheats, anybody that's sneaky, anybody that's, uh, but racism? Racism. We're talking about racism. 
Racism has never been of God. To think you're better than anybody, to think you're superior to anybody, that's not of God. That's, that is not of God. I don't care how many crosses you burn and how many white sheets you put on. All right, I know I'm, t I'm, t I'm really going into territory that, 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 that's going to ruffle some feathers, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. When we don't recognize who Jesus is and that he's created, we talk about God creating. And, and, and someone say, said it here, uh, Martha Ramsey. Uh, I, 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 I'm trying to read a comment and teach at the same time. It, it, I think it's, it's good here. Um, when we understand that God created man and we all came from Adam, when, it's, it's not a hard thought. It really isn't. It's really not a hard thought. But let's go in the word a little bit deeper. Um, and I mentioned this last week while teaching and had to come back to it tonight. Um, and, and it's this. And it's this. Uh, 1 Samuel, the 11th chapter. 1 Samuel 11 and 1. We'll read a few verses there. And see, here's the, here's the problem. If you preach against racism, you got to preach against all racism. So you can't just preach against the white man being against the black man. You also got to preach against the black man being against the white man. Uh-oh. Trouble. I know. I know. That's fine. That's fine. I know. That's fine. Um, you, you don't want them to be mad at us, but it's okay for you to be mad at them. That's, that's, that's that, that's that uh, selective gospel. That's that selective racism. Um, but let's go here. Uh, let, let me get to the word. 1 Samuel 11 and 1. Then Nahash the Ammonite came up and encamped against Jabesh Gilead. And all the men of Jabesh said to Nahash, make a covenant with us and we will serve you. And Nahash the Ammonite answered him, on this condition, I will make a covenant with you. Mm -hmm. that I may put out all your right eyes and bring reproach on all Israel. Then the elders of Jabesh said to him, hold on for seven days that we may send messengers to uh, all the territory of Israel. And then if there is no one to save us, we will come out to you. So the messengers came to Gibeah of Saul and told the news in the hearing of the people. And all the people lifted up their voices and wept. Now there was Saul. This is one of the key verses, um, uh, the, this verse, the next verse. Now there was Saul coming behind the herd from the field. And Saul said, what troubles the people that they weep? And they told him the words of Jabesh. Then the spirit of God, this is the key verse right here. Key verse right here. So, 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 <laughs> good God. Then the spirit of God came upon Saul when he heard this news and his anger was greatly aroused. So he took a yoke of oxen and cut them in pieces and sent them throughout all the territory of Israel by the hands of messengers saying, whoever does not go out with Saul and Samuel to battle, so it shall be done to his oxen. And the fear of the Lord fell on the people and they came with one consent. And when he numbered them in Bezak, the children of Israel, were 300,000 and men of Judah, 30,000. And they said to the messengers who came, thus you shall say to the men of Jabesh Gilead, tomorrow by the time the sun is hot, you shall have help. Then the messengers came and reported to the men of Jabesh and they were glad. Therefore, the men of Jabesh said, tomorrow we will come out to you and you may do to us whatever seems good to you. So it was on the next day that Saul put the people in three companies and they came in the midst of the camp in the morning watch and killed the Ammonites until the heat of the day. And it came to pass that those who survived were scattered. So no two of them were left together. I'm, I believe that's all I'm going to read tonight. That's all I'm going to read tonight. Simply, simply, simply this. Understanding what was going on with Nahash. Nahash had came up 
to the men, to the camp of Jabesh Gilead, and put a condition out there. Understand the men of Jabesh Gilead were, you know, ostracized to a great degree, and they really, um, they were ostracized to a great degree because they had not went up with their brothers, their, their brothers um, earlier, um, I believe is in Judges, when they did not come up with Israel, the rest of the tribe of Israel, when they went to fight um, Gibeah, um, when they went, went to go against Gibeah, they didn't, they didn't show up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no. Let me get this uh, writing. I want to make sure I give it to you. Oh. All right. So, so here, here it is. That's not it. So we see, we see here that they're fighting. The, the Nahash showed up. They're, they're ready to fight. But I want to give you this, this here. There it is. So, yes, they, the, the, the men of Jabesh were not fighting, um, did not show up in Judges 21 and 10. You'll find it there that, you know, the congregation sent out their 12,000, those their most valiant men, and commanded them, go and strike the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead with the edge of the sword, including the women and children. And they did this because of the wickedness that Gibeah had done. They were supposed to fight with the other tribes of Israel um, against Gibeah, but they did not show up. They did not show up. And because they did not show up, um, now they were ostracized from the Israelites and now in danger of being destroyed by the Ammonites. And they has come with this covenant and says, you know, uh, he's ready to come against them. And, and, and the men of Nahash, I'm sorry, the men of Jabesh said to Nahash, let's make a covenant with you. They're stalling him. They're stalling him. Surprisingly, knowing that Israel had already abandoned Jabesh Gilead, then Nahash says here, let, let, let's, uh, uh, on one condition, I'll make a covenant with you. On one condition. That one condition is that I put out your right eyes and bring a reproach on Israel. I want to bring shame to Israel. This was, this, we're back in 1 Samuel 11. So he says, I want to pull out all your right eyes and bring shame on all Israel. So they already knew that they have been uh, put aside. They have been ridiculed, put um, to the side. Uh, by the rest of the tribes of Israel. So they banking on Israelites ain't going to show up for them. Ain't nothing. And if they do, we're going to take them. So the elders of Jabez said, hold off for seven days and we'll send messengers throughout Israel and see if anybody will come out and see if there be no one to save us, we'll come out to you. So they sent out messengers. So the word was getting out. People start weeping. Saul has already been anointed king. Saul has been anointed king, and now he's coming behind the herd from the field. And he said, what troubles the people? What's troubling the people? Why are they weeping? They told them, told him, told Saul what happened, and Saul says, or the word says, his anger, as he's hearing this, the spirit came upon Saul, the spirit of God. I'm so glad that this says so explicitly the spirit of God, because you know what? People will say a whole lot of things about anger, um, but the Bible tells us to be angry and sin not. Mm -hmm. So it's all right to be angry. Be angry and sin not. Then the spirit of God came upon Saul when he heard this news. When we hear the news of injustices going on, it makes us angry. It makes us emotional. It gets us crying, some weeping. But when will somebody, and I keep saying this, Somebody who has a platform, not me. I don't have I don't have a big enough platform because there are renowned people with platforms, with big names, big networks, 
big connections, bigger than we can imagine, and not enough of them stand up to talk about the injustices of the African, the injustices of the black man. They're not enough, and I'm not talking about black folk or African folk preaching and teaching against racism. That's easy for us. We, we've endured it. Our ancestors endured it. Some of our parents and grandparents endured the last, you know, the 60s, the 50s, the 40s, the 30s, the 20s, the early 1900s. Hey, they have endured that. But they were getting the remnants of slavery. Prejudices and segregation and all that stuff, that was all because of, that was all a result of this injustice that had been going on for years. Yes, this America has been built up on the backs and the backs of the African. Yes, it has. If you deny that, you deny the truth. It has. But that does not give us a license to treat the white man any different. Recognize them, understand them, meet them where they are, whatever you want. It's not, this is not hatred. This, 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 we, 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 we can't be in God and, 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 and talk about hatred. Uh, 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 we can't be in God and, 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 and talk, uh, uh, and let, let me rephrase that. Can't be in God and as act as if hatred is okay. Uh, and that we can speak against hatred. We ought to be so in the gospel that we can identify and say, this is an injustice. This is an injustice and it's not of God. Who's going to call it out? Who's going to call it out? That's why we ought to be praying. Praying is not a scapegoat to avoid a situation. When you recognize what the power of prayer is, it will give you direction on what to do. What I find is, is we'll get emotional at, and at a situation, be mad for a few weeks, leave the situation and go on as if it's nothing. As if this incident didn't happen. Lives are being torn apart. But when we preach against racism and hatred from all people, I don't care who it comes from. Hatred is not of God. The only thing you should be hating is sin. You should be hating sin and the devil and his works. That's what you should be hating. But we employ this racism. We give it strength. We give it power when we don't speak against it, when we don't preach against it. And that's saying, and I keep saying this because I, I, I really want to stress this point. That same Holy Ghost that we have, the Bible tells us the spirit of God. Do you know any other spirit of God but the spirit of God? Only one, the spirit of God came upon Saul. When he heard the news, he was grieved. His anger was kindled greatly. Mm. Bible, New King James Version said greatly aroused. He was upset. Come on. Mm. Come on. Greatly upset. Greatly upset. So that means if we preach against hatred with the European against the African, then we also got to preach against the hatred that resides in our heart. Uh-oh. Here is quiet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He, my, my, my. Come on, quicken now. Come on. Quick and now, speak in tongue, because that same Holy Ghost, you might not feel like speaking in tongue, but that glory, that, 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 that spirit of God can get you to a place. It got, it got soul to a place. No, we're going to stand up and we're going to fight. By the time Saul got news of what was going on, he rounded up the troops and there was 330,000 men ready to fight. 330,000. And he broke them up in groups of three. So that means, I mean, 110,000 over here, 110,000 over here, 110,000 over here. 
How can we speak in tongues? I don't care what color you are. How can we speak in tongues and hate? You love a God that you don't see, mm. but hate your brother who you do see. It's, it's, it's time to make this right. It's time to get this right. And I know some people will always have a problem because they have, and, and they claim that they're following Jesus. They claim that they're Christian. KKK, burn the cross. They burn crosses. Doesn't make sense. Mm. When will we get tired of this narrative? I'm challenging you to pray that God will arrest somebody's mind and heart that has a platform or for God to raise up somebody to have a platform to rightly fight against this. We got to be able to fight. We got to be able to fight the injustices. And some people, you know, we and, and here's the other thing. We have to pray f for, not against, for all these policemen and police women, all these first responders, those that have to endure the 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 repercussions of someone else's ill will. Mm. Every time an injustice happens in the nation that that calls a African to die. Repeating those words again, I can't breathe. Like, how many times do we keep have to hear that? But I want to challenge you. We should not look at all cops as if, oh, they bad, that bad. The police, our police officer, he's on here. He's watching. He's listening. He has our support. He has our prayers. Mm -hmm. And because of him and people like him and others, there's... We got police women and men in our families, and we know they have a good heart, and they would never do something like that. Never. So we got to pray that they don't receive the blunt end, because every time that happens, I don't care if it's across the bridge, in this city, or another city, across the nation, they receive the repercussions. We got to do more. Now, I'm going to say that. We got to do more than pray. But we got to spend time in prayer to see what we need to do. Because ain't no use of you doing and you haven't followed, you're not following the leading of the Spirit. You're not following God's Spirit. You're not following the Word. Then you're, you're being led by emotions. And next thing you know, you're doing, you're doing God knows what. But no, we need those that are sound in the Word of God. Holy Ghost field. This is kingdom. You want to talk about kingdom? This is kingdom. All of the kingdom exploits and all of the kingdom's uh, uh, conquests are not beautiful. They're not pretty. They're not glorious. They're not a shouting fest. They're not a prophecy. Uh, no prophecy. No, no quickening. None of that. So let us be reminded that we need to be praying for law enforcement. Law enforcement. This, 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 this mentality. And that's why we need God to bless and keep the law enforcement and those that are righteous to rise up into leadership positions. That way God can divinely set them up to be an influence somewhere down the line to a department. It don't have to be big. Sometimes we're looking to be on CNN, headline news. It don't have to be big. Maybe your influence can be to one officer. Maybe your influence can be, hey, we love you. We're thinking about you. Everybody's not like that. I, I, I'm, I, am, I am agitated. I will say agitated. I'm agitated. I'm irritated because of what I'm, I have to see, what we see, what we're seeing. And the news, what we're seeing in social media, what we're seeing is disturbing. If you can look at that 
and I'm looking like this man is about to die. Not knowing what I'm looking at, really. Not really paying attention to the headline. This man about to die. It, 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 it grips your heart. Yes, sir. It grips, it grips the heart. It, it, it's, whew. Help us. We, 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 we need to disband and get rid of. Uh, Deacon Campbell said, all generaliz generalizations are of the devil. They are. Uh, when we start to generalize and stereotype people, I don't care what stereotype. You can stereotype a person, a group. When you start to say all people, all people of this, all, you got to be careful. All mm -hmm. men and dogs. <laughs> all women of this. All men of this. When you get into that all this, you better be careful of those comments and, and, and words that you're putting in the air. And start formulating. And creating stuff, creating havoc that you didn't never, never want to deal with. Mm. Stereotypes, prejudices, racism, hatred, not of God. Not of God. It's like, oh, I won't, I won't. You be careful. Saints of God, even if you're an unbeliever, I pray that, you know, this Bible study was not our norm. For, thank God for the glory showing up at the beginning. And thank God for this teaching right here. Because, you know, it's, it's a sad reality. It's a sad reality when we have people um, here in the 21st century and we still dealing with this. Like, we should be so much further along. But Usually somebody dealing with the spirit of superiority. Usually that comes from an arrogance and that arrogance comes from an insecurity as well as a pride. Mm. Let us, we got to pray. We have to pray. We have to pray. We have to pray. This is, this is, this is like, woo. All right. But this is what the word says. Um, we read first Samuel. Let's go to Galatians. Galatians three and 26. Galatians three, 26. When you have to say amen, cause I usually move fast and sometimes I don't stop, slow down fast, <laughs> uh, slow down long enough uh, for everyone to catch, get to the scripture. Uh, for, but Galatians 3 and 26, when you have it, just put a thumbs up, put some hearts. All right. I believe I'm starting to see some thumbs and hearts. You, you, Galatians 3, 26. For you are all sons of God through faith in Jesus Christ. For as many of you, of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There's neither Jew nor Greek. There's neither slave nor free. There's neither male or female. For you all are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you're Christ, then you're Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Galatians 3.26. For you are all sons of God. We're not talking about gender right now. We're talking about every believer. Where you, he's talking, Paul is talking to the church of Galatia and he said, for you all are sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many 
of you were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Baptized in Christ, we have put on Christ. When we were baptized in the water, we're going down in the water, in the baptism in Jesus' name. We're coming up as new creatures. We're making a faith proclamation. We're telling the world that we love Jesus, that we're following, not just loving him, but that we're following him. And as we move forward, not only are we baptized in, into Christ, but we put on Christ. But he said, there is neither Jew nor Greek. He cuts out the whole thing of eth ethnicity. Elder Lewis gave us that earlier about eth ethnicity. I was able to catch it, but I had moved on <laughs> already. But ethnicity, you know, the ethnicity, our, our nationality, when we talk about ethnicity, we, you know, ethnicity is different from race. Race is only one human race. If we be right, I'm going to keep repeating that until Jesus come. There's only one race. That's the human race. So in Jesus Christ, there's neither Jew nor Greek. So that cancels out you feeling superior or inferior. There's neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave or free. So socioeconomic status. There's none of that. None of that don't even matter. There is neither male nor female, female, male nor female. That is saying gender, your gender, because we got people that's fighting over race. You got people fighting over their economic status because they make certain amount to they, they up here and you're down here. No, no, it's no big eyes and little U's when it comes to God. We might different our worth. We're all valuable. We're all priceless. We're not worthless. We're all priceless. All people are priceless. But just as we're priceless, that doesn't give us a right to look down on anyone. Because of their race, because of their economic status. Neither because of their gender. You got some vote because they're, they're man, they're, they're superior. On the flip side, you got some women. Oh, I'm superior. That's not right. In Christ Jesus, in Christ Jesus, there is, he evens the playing field. He evens it out. But we have so many people that are trying to make us feel inferior or some of us, I won't say us, but some of you may even have a spirit of feeling superior. You can't touch me. I'm such and such. We got to be careful that. We got to not just be careful. We got to denounce it. Because when that becomes a part of who we are as we worship God, as we represent God, we're missing, we're missing, we're missing the playing field that God has given us that it won't be like that. We might differ in, differ in function and differ in work but not in worth. We may differ in function and work, but we don't differ in worth. Nothing wrong with giving people honor. Give honor to whom honors do. That's nothing wrong with that. But when we, we're not talking, when, when you equate honor to inferiority or superiority, you got it all wrong because you can give honor. Give honor to whom honors do. If honors do to them, great. But remember, in him there's neither male nor female, there's neither Greek, Jew nor Greek, no slave nor free, male nor female. So God covers the race, God covers the economic status, and he also covers the uh, uh, the gender covers the gender. So even through Galatians 3 and 26, especially 28 and 29, um, we can see God evens the playing field. There is equality. Again, our function may differ. Our work may differ. But our worth, we're all 
priceless. All right. That's going to conclude our teaching for tonight. Again, um, we appreciate all of you being on. Uh, and actually, in reality, I did not. <laughs> I did not plan on being this long. <laughs> but the spirit of prayer, uh, the life of prayer took over. And uh, we're grateful um, for all of you joining us, whether you've joined us by, by we've come into New Harvest Temple page, you're watching through YouTube or any launch parties, uh, keep saying launch parties, any watch parties that have been launched through Facebook, as well as our conference call. We have saints that are on our conference call as well. Um, and we're appreciative. I just want us to have a righteous perspective. Nothing, you know, prayer is the key. Prayer is not a scapegoat. People have made believers feel bad for prayer. Oh, all y'all know to do is pray. Yeah, if I pray effectively, <laughs> fervent, uh, the fervent, effectual fervent prayers of the righteous man develop much. The reason we can get a lot is because we avail ourselves to prayer. And understand, in prayer, if you're praying effectively and praying biblically, God should inspire you, talk to you, and what to pray for. When you don't even know what to pray for, the Spirit will make intercession. You'll, when you don't know what to pray for, the Spirit will make intercession. But there ought to be a time in your life um, and in your walk in prayer that God will give you instruction. Um, and maybe perhaps this, whatever means, but we all have to start where we are, you know, educate people, uh, strengthen people through the scripture when it comes to injustices, when it comes to racial, uh, hatred. Again, we have to, this is, this is a preach word. Many don't speak in tongues because they, they get into their feelings and get so emotional. I understand, but we got to have to preach it. We as believers, we're going to have to talk. We're going to preach it, talk it. We need, we need a revival. Now, I've, I've never. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm getting excited here. Have, have you all ever seen anybody have a revival? And we're going to have deliverance service to deliver, to have a deliverance service um, against uh, um Racism, hatred, prejudices. We're going to have a deliverance service. We're going to get delivered. You know, we, we, we've seen deliverance service from drugs. We've seen deliverance service, uh, exorcism, bring, getting demons out. What about that demon called, uh, uh, that has a prejudice spirit, that, that demon that has hatred, that demon. Let's talk about that. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> we ain't seen that much, have we? We just deal with that lust spirit. That lust spirit, that lying demon, come on out. What about that prejudice, sneaky spirit? That prejudice, that hatred. Have we, 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 we need that. We need that. We need that. Saints of God, I'm going to let you go. Um, we're going to ask those that would like to sow, please sow. We're grateful for all that have sown um, into our work, into our ministry, whether it's our members, whether it's our supporters, whether it's strangers, we appreciate, we appreciate you all um, sowing as much as you do. Um, and those, uh, we, we're appreciative. We're able to do some things that we've been wanting to do. And um, again, we'll be showing somehow, maybe we'll, we'll figure this out, um, but we'll show you how, uh, what, what changes, in, you'll see them, <laughs> you'll see them. Um, and, um, so, uh, but we also plan to do some outreach things. That's not the only thing that, we, that that's on our list. We're going to do some outreach. And so those that would like to, so please feel free. We'll have an announcement coming soon about the outreach we'll be doing to the community, uh, regarding, um, we, you know, with everything, the way everything has went, we not planning a community day as we did last year. 
Um, but we are planning to um, reach out to the community. So stay tuned to New Harvest Temple's page um, so you can have the information um, as we get ready for um, this um, this event. Um, we'll be giving everyone dates. It's going to be very soon. It's not going to be much notice, but we just want you to know uh, what we'll be doing. Um, you have seen the Cash App and PayPal information at the bottom of your screen. Cash App, uh, dollar sign NHT5217, as well as PayPal finances at newharvesttemple.org. That's finances with the S at the end of finance. Finances at newharvesttemple.org. You can sow there. Um, and we thank God for, again, everybody, what you're doing, how you're blessing. And uh, we thank you for those that even have uh, sown personally. We appreciate that as well. Thank you. Um, God has been great. He's been kind to us. And we love you. Thank you so much for all. Just staying tuned. Uh, we pray that um, that you've been enlightened in some way. We had uh, several guests tonight on our live and we had non-members even sharing tonight. We're, we're, we're happy for that. We appreciate that. We want our numbers to go up. Um, uh, someone just said the other day, I'm not sure if you're into numbers. No, we are into numbers. <laughs> we are into numbers. Um, we want to make sure our numbers get up. So share this. If you haven't already launch a watch party, I said it correctly that time, launch a watch party. And uh, we, we pray that um, you're blessed. We're going to let you go. Let's continue to pray for one another. Um, in this time, let us pray for um, law enforcement. Let us pray for um, all of all of humanity and let us fight the good fight of faith um, with scripture, with scripture against these devils called hatred, against this devil called uh, racism. It's nothing else. It's, it's, it's just something to continue to try to divide us. Some people will never agree. Some people will never agree even with what I said tonight. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But I agree with the word. And if you're following Jesus Christ, you will too. So um, let, us, let us go on with God. And again, um, we're appreciative of all of you. We're going to fight against racism. We're going to fight against the injustices. And we're going to fight it through um, through faith, through the word of God and continue to stand for Jesus because he is against this type of hatred. Again, the only thing, only things we should be hating is the devil himself, his works, amen, and his plans. Um, you know, we shouldn't be hating people. If you find yourself in a place of hatred, we really need to pray. And if you save. Ain't no way you could be saved and, and see the glory of God existing um, in your life, existing in your life, and, and you have a bunch of hatred, you have a, a bunch of animosity, uh, unresolved grief, unresolved feelings. Um, you got to come to a resolve. Um, and, and some people, you know, try to base it off this, base it off that. Look, just, just look at yourself. You know, you start with yourself. Make sure we are lining up with the word. All right. God bless you. We love you. We're going to pray out. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this time tonight. We thank you for the word. We thank you for the endowment of your spirit. We thank you for gracing us with your glory. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for empowering us with your word. God, Lord, we ask you to even let the word become more illuminating to our pathway. God, Oh, God, a lamp to our feet and a light unto our pathway. God, we need, we need this. We need your word. We need your word. And we need your word to be manifested through us. God, as we live every day, talk every day, we want the word to come alive in us. God, because we want your name to be glorified. We want Satan to be terrified at the use and at, your, at the use of your name, at the hearing of your name the application of your name, God, and all of your kingdom principles. God has moved forward to continue to preach your gospel. We're preaching the whole gospel. Help us, God, to preach and teach the whole gospel. Help us to preach, teach, and live the whole gospel. 
of the kingdom of God. God, we thank you. Lord, keep us and we shall be kept. God, we praise you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let the word be the covering, covering be the word. I haven't said that since we've been in the temple. I don't believe, but let the word be the covering, covering be the word. You pray for me, I pray for you. Let's pray for one another. God bless you. Have a good night and amen. God bless. Right now, he 